Hello everyone, this is Prashant, welcome to the channel. So, in this video, one of the main intro question in all the API testings. What is authorization? What is authentication? And we are going to use a bearer token today in the automation. So, bearer token comes under the OAuth2 uh, authentication techniques. Okay. First of all, in a simple pattern, I will tell you what is authentication, what is authorization. So, when you giving a username and password, and log in to the application username password okay like any username password instagram everything so when you use a username and password and login means that is authentication never forget again username password are any inputs you give me and going inside okay that is authentication authorization means if take an example you have application enterprise application in enterprise there are so many roles uh, admin role uh, secondary admin or uh, uh, like uh, leading role and normal role okay editing access read access so this kind of access related so you also have authentication but you would your permission have certain permissions only like suppose if you have only read means you can able to only read if you write means only write okay this kind of related accesses in anything that's called authorization so you are authorizing something okay so that is called authorization Username are providing any login within any credentials that is called authentication. That's simple. Okay. So today we are going to handle how to do handle the what is a bearer token and how to automate in, in API testing. First I will show you in how it's working in Postman. Then I will show you in the automation before that. Okay. So I'm going to listen. What is bearer token? So when you are doing authentication, username password authentication it will provide you one keyword keyword in a sense like uh, some patterns okay if you are using that key if you can use other apis like create post text any request api you want to pass that key if it is valid because if you see in banking login only sometime you will able to in alive after that if you forgot to do any action it will session timeout same bearer token also have certain time limit so that is defined will be your project level so there is no common or constant one okay so you want to use that key to access all your apis okay so now let's jump on to the code okay let's take this api okay so this is the post request okay so this is the url http request dot in api login and you want to select the body in the raw type suggestion you want to pass two things so you can use the same thing you can copy from the this one this is a testing website so when you give this username and password when you hit this url this will give you the key okay token okay so you want to use that token in the your other apis okay right now i'm clicking on send sometimes as i said it's a testing website so it will work easy faster or slower okay even i don't know why it's taking this much time okay so now I will go to the code okay so I'm opening the code I'm going to create a new file okay so new file this is auth authentication Authentication. in initial what do you want to give you guys very well know you want to give a test dot py okay and I'm going to copy this entire this portion here to here just small modification okay so this and all I, I don't want it simply removing it okay okay some some some, some time out will hit I can see this so when I hit this it is giving you the 200 okay and it's giving the token okay first we need to implement this API so copy this URL go to your make this as a post request pass this URL okay we are doing the same thing possibly before that I should I taught you what we want to pass the data so so what is the data this two uh, this two values are the data okay what are the things email and password okay I am keeping in this okay so now what we want to do we want to pass this data data we want to pass this data okay this is the body okay so now we hit it so what is the output is coming as a token okay so first we will see this is working fine or not that's the first thing 
okay so print is response dot code status code okay so it will print the status and print so you guys very well know what is the thing how to uh, get the response so in the json format response dot json okay so this too we are going to implement so i'm copying this file name okay so i'm going to type file test going to give this name enter sign do anything when i hit it see this it is hit successfully i got the 200 status code and access the token so what is the key the key is token okay right in the in this for this token key you are getting a response now i taught you to another option how to read the data from the response so this is the response the json format in the json format because we are printing as a json i want to take the token value so key is token in this what i going to do i am going to use the get method get see clearly get what is the key the key is the token okay this is a token i want the token so so i am printing again it will hit the api see this that's the token okay so what i am going to do i am going to create token token equal to i am going to call copy cut and paste it here so what will happen it will store the data in the token okay understood right so now we got mm. successful next portion so i want to i i told you i am going to use a bearer token back to use it okay so i am going to get a new call so the same one same call instead of login i am going to paste a users okay in this header header i want to pass authorization bearer this is the bearer i want to pass the token which token the token which is generated here bearer space token this is how you want to use the key is in the header the key is authorization the value is bearer space the token which we generate i'm going to hit this another thing is get get call okay see this we are getting the response right the same way i am going to implement in our code okay so you guys know what is the thing i am just copying this paste it here this is a what call get call get what is the url this is the url copy the url here i don't need a data why because for get call there is no data only post call we need to give the data okay but what we want to pass mainly headers i am going to pass the headers so what is the header so as is authorization the key in the key i want to pass this bearer token okay but bearer token is yeah i am passing bearer what is the token where is the token token is in here okay now again i want to print the status and print the response okay i will explain you slowly so what we done up to here the first portion is done so we get the token we we logging in using this credentials after logging in we are getting the token and i am going to use a second call get call in the get call in the header section i am passing authorization bearer token space the token value it will go to get request in that request it will hit and give a status okay so that's simple so this why api is very simple is that is how the api uh, api is always straight forward thing once you done it wherever anyone asking this is the way you want to explain okay so what are things we study one is what is authentication so this username password right using this we are logging in right this is a authentication okay and getting a token and going to use a bearer token is this is the one of a widely used auth to process okay 
So there in our, there are authentication there are a couple of ways. This is the beta token one of the auth2 set technique. Okay. And what is an authorization? Authorization is something some users because this user are login access, but this guy may not have the authorization. Okay. Take an example. Uh, even I'm this is testing in fact I'm I'm just testing. So I am giving XSX. It's an so invalid one. Okay, you guys can see, right? It's so an invalid one. So when I authenticate it, so it is working for every password. <laughs> but what will come is in testing I've said it will come a 401. What is 401? When you are when you're using an invalid credentials and you're trying to log in. Take an example, you are using Amazon. In this you are putting an invalid password or invalid username, what will come? user don't have access but in AP what is the status code it's 401 unauthorized okay that means 401 but right now success means what 200 okay so I hope I clarified this authentication authorization bearer tokens and both in how to implement in postman then as usual how to implement in the player 8 AP automation okay so in next class each class i'm going to cover one request types post request and in if, if i'm teaching get means i will teach you how to use headers how to pass the url what are the status codes available for that request type and both negative cases and positive cases what are things we need to validate and how to do the little performance testing as well so in the get and every calls because in api we can do small performance test wells as well so that thing i will say in tomorrow's fourth day because this is a very 15 day solution so in this we go even 15 days longer i always tell five days is enough for ap automation but why i'm going to 15 days means framework design okay so for that only one i'm trying to go slowly everything initially because you want to know all the basics basics very stronger then if you are very strong on basics means you don't have ask any question in framework design. If you don't know the proper meaning of why we using like the like this means you will get more questions when I'm going to create a framework. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please like and share to your friends and ask them to watch. Uh, at least you'll give some few <laughs> viewers because I'm new to this uh, YouTube channel. Okay. So thanks for watching.